ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was distracting. Hi. So, I kind of haven't been talking about self-harm on this channel for a little while. One of those reasons is I haven't been doing it. <laughs> so it's not been relevant. One thing that I wanted to mark was that it's been about six months since I gave away my tools. That was a really big deal. Oh my God. Um, probably the biggest decision I've made in a long time and something I thought I would never do. Why did I think I wouldn't do it? Because I was oddly emotionally attached or something because it was a bit of a comfort to have, it's weird to call it a safety. <laughs> because, well, it sounds, it sounds like the opposite of safe to have tools that you can use to hurt yourself. But for me, it felt safe in the sense that it was something that I could turn to and feel like I had that resource when I needed it. And I'm all I'm all stressed out, so I'm wobbling. That's 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 intense. Um, and I should sit still. So yeah, I've been. Hmm, that was scary. I gave them to who was my therapist at the time, and he had told he had been trying to get me to get rid of them for like the longest time. Um. I was followed by him for about a year and a half-ish and it was about six months in he started bringing it up that I should get get rid of my tools and then it started getting more and more intense where I felt a little bit almost like grabbed by the neck and throttled to try to get rid of them and I felt pressured um, and I felt like I needed to do it for like my therapist and my psychiatrist because they were like putting pressure on me to get rid of these tools. And once in a while I had the courage, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then I was like, no, no, my God, can you, are you kidding me? Am I going to do that? No way. So eventually when I got into one of those modes where I was like, yeah, I'll do it. I was like, let's do it before um, I changed my mind. And I had been told, uh, since I had said, well, I don't think I could actually do it and I wouldn't leave them in the trash. I was told, okay, then just give them to me and I'll get rid of them. So then, yeah, so, oh my god. I'm, I'm still cringing. I, I, I was really, really upset for quite a while that I did this, but... I grabbed my, st my tools. I had a whole kit. Um, lots of different kinds of blades, which was not productive in the sense of actually being, like, a good thing. And I brought this kit... And at the, in the session, I was like asked, well, is there something you want to bring up today? I said, well, there's something I want to bring up, but I'm not sure that I can, so I'm still considering it. And when I said that it was a really big decision and I wasn't sure if I could, he said, you brought your blades. And I was like, yes. <laughs> and I was incredibly stressed out kind of a long silence, he started crying. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I thought I would be the one crying. Uh, I thought I would be the one crying because I was really, really, really stressed out about it. And then um, he was really moved is the thing. He was like, <laughs> it was like moved crying and um, relieved, I guess. And then I said, well, let's go. Let's put this in the trash. He says, well, no, I'm going to wait till you're gone because I don't want you to pull it out. <laughs> so I, yeah, um, left him in the office. And as far as I was told, they were supposed to be picked up by a security guard and disposed of, which sounds tragic looking back, but I suppose it was for the best. As... Oh my god. I'm still cringing, but I know it's I know it's for the best. But oh my god. That's just like oh. 
I felt like literally sick for a week and I was wanting to turn back time and I was like, what did I do? I can't believe I did that. I was just like cringing. I couldn't believe it. I, you know, so, but it was a, it's a big deal and I haven't hurt myself since. So good on that. Pat on the back, I suppose. So if I, I mean, I'm not going to say, I always dislike when someone says, if I could do it when I was this bad, then you can do it. Anyone can do it. I, uh, I find that a little bit like, I mean, are you serious? Because, I mean, we do what we can do in our own time. And I'm not going to assume that I'm the worst case ever. <laughs> so there you go. Um, I hope you can, if you still have your tools, that you can get rid of them. It's scary. But it's not the wrong choice. Because if you have it at your disposal, seriously, you're just going to be like, oh, there they are. Um, I know where they are. Let's go get them. So but we do what we can in our own time. I hope you find that, if you haven't already. <laughs>